Pre and post meal blood glucose testing is a way of being able to judge the effect of meals on your blood sugar levels. The benefits of pre and post meal blood glucose testing include helping you to see how certain foods affect your blood sugar levels, showing you how long certain foods take to affect your blood sugar levels, and if you're on insulin, helping you to judge your insulin doses. Pre and post meal testing involves performing a blood glucose test before starting a meal, performing another test two hours after starting the meal, performing a third test four hours after eating. In most cases, you should find that blood glucose results are higher after two hours than they were before eating the meal. You should be looking to see how much your blood glucose rises after eating. Take the following examples. Example one. You test before meal A and get a 5.0 millimoles per litre reading. You test two hours after the meal and get a 9.0 millimoles per litre reading. So meal A has caused a rise of four millimoles per litre. Example two. You test before meal B and get a 7.0 millimoles per litre reading. You test two hours after the meal and get a 10.0 millimoles per litre reading. So we see that meal B raises blood sugar by 3 millimoles per litre. If we had just done a post meal reading, we might have thought that meal A was the better option. But because meal B has raised our blood sugar levels by a lower amount, meal B does seem to be the better option for us. Your four hour reading should ideally show that your blood glucose levels have returned to the target range for pre-meal readings which is between four and seven millimoles per litre for most adults with diabetes. These meals are just examples. If you perform before and after meal readings, you can see how your own blood glucose levels are affected by different meals. When reviewing your blood glucose results, it helps to know what your target results are. The target levels recommended by NICE vary slightly depending on your diabetes type. For people with type two diabetes, you should aim for a level of between 4 and 7 millimoles per litre before meals and under 8.5 millimoles per litre after meals. People with type 1 diabetes should aim for a level of between 4 and 7 millimoles per litre before meals and under 9 millimoles per litre after meals. Children with type 1 diabetes should aim for a level of between 4 and 8 millimoles per litre before meals and under 10 millimoles per litre after meals. Note that target ranges may vary from individual. People with higher susceptibility to hypos, for example, may be advised different target levels to the above guidelines.